Today we rank every Mario Party Superstars minigame based on how dangerous they are. Some minigames are guaranteed death, some have a chance of the characters dying, some minigames look like they would result in broken bones or a minor injury, and some minigames are so safe that grandma would play them. I hope you enjoy this video. First up, we have Mushroom Mix-Up. This one, it isn't quite grandma would do this because the characters, they are falling into the water, but it's not from a super high height. So we are going to put this one into minor injury. In Bombs Away, you have cannonballs being shot at you from a pirate ship, but you might just fall into the water and be safe. So this one, this one's kind of on the border of broken bones and minor injury. Let's put it onto broken bones just to be safe because there are cannonballs being shot at you. For Shy Guy says, you're in a barrel and the Shy Guy can cut away the rope and then you float away into the ocean on the barrel. So this isn't exactly something that grandma would do and we don't know what's going to happen to you after you float away. So we're gonna rank this one in minor injury also. For the Crazy Cutters minigame, we might not expect grandma to be on a jackhammer. So this one, we are going to put into minor injury. This is something that you might expect to be doing at a job using a jackhammer like this. And using a jackhammer repeatedly over time and feeling all those vibrations in your hands is something that could give you some injuries over time. Tipsy Turny is a really tough one because all you're doing is you're walking around on this platform here and you have this shell following you. But if the shell bumps into you, it doesn't hurt. If you jump onto it, it doesn't hurt. So this does seem like a pretty safe mini game. So this might be the first one that we put into Grandma Does This. Even though maybe jumping around might be a bit much for Grandma. Maybe it should go into minor injury. This one's kind of on the border, but we're gonna have something in Grandma Does This. Next up is Dizzy Dancing. So this one, you all spin on a record, you all get dizzy, and then you have to fight to get to the treble clefts. And since in this one, people are fighting each other, I'm pretty sure you can punch each other in this minigame, jump on each other. This definitely isn't something that Grandma's doing. This is at least minor injury but I don't think that the battles are serious enough here to go into broken bones. So this one's going to be in minor injury also. All right, now things are starting to get very intense here. For bumper balls, there are three different stages. For this first stage, you knock your friends into lava. Just being on these balls themselves and bumping into each other like that is already basically a guaranteed chance of breaking bones if you're knocking each other off. It's like trampoline dodgeball. But if you're knocking your friends into lava, this one is definitely going into guaranteed death over here. Cause if your friends fall into the lava, they are out of here. In the water stage of bumper balls, I don't know if I want to put that into broken bones or chance of death because running around just on top of the balls themselves is dangerous enough, but bumping into your friends but I think I'm going to leave this one in Broken Bones. Even though it is pretty dangerous, maybe it deserves to be in the next one. It deserves to be at least here. And the final stage of Bumper Balls that we haven't looked into, I would say that this one is even a bit more dangerous than the previous one. In the previous one, you're falling into water. This one, you're knocking your friends off of a mountain. And it's also slippery, so that makes it even more dangerous. So you know what? This might be our first one over here that goes into chance of death. Okay, hot rope jump. You do not want to play with fire. You and your friends are jumping over a jump rope on fire. This one is going to go into chance of death over here. Tread carefully is a really tough one because we're in these tanks, we're shooting at each other. We don't have a lot of protective equipment. We don't have helmets on or anything. And we don't know how powerful these cannons are. So we don't know if this could be anywhere from grandma does this all the way up until broken bones or even chance of death. We don't know how powerful these cannon shots are, but based on how the characters fly away after they get hit and they fly away inside the tank, they're probably getting banged up a lot while they're inside the tank. So I think I'm gonna put this one into broken bones. Bumper balloon cars. In this one, you have to remember to never turn your back on an opponent. And this one is basically the same as tread carefully, Except I think that it's less dangerous slightly because you can't really hit the other characters with these spikes But you do still fly away So I think I'm gonna put this one into minor injury then I think that's an appropriate spot for that because this one should be less dangerous than tread carefully Sneak and snore is definitely not something that grandma would do grandma would not sit inside a barrel and get grabbed by a chain shop and get thrown down a pipe but is it serious enough to break your bones? I guess it really depends on how aggressive that chain jump is, but I think 
This one, from what it looks like in the minigame, I think this would be minor injury. All right, this one over here, we've got another one that is definitely... Grandma does this in her spare time. We could always see Grandma winding up the springs at the back of Fly Guys and just letting them go and seeing how they go. All right, this one here is a racing minigame. This is basically go-karts, and of course there is some danger to doing something like go-karts, but this can be pretty safe, and I'm sure there are a lot of safety precautions in place. Oh wait, but if you're too fast in this minigame and you catch up to someone else, then you knock them off of the track, so you know what? I would have put this in Grandma Does This, but if you're too fast, then you can actually catch up to someone else and knock them off the track, so that would injure them. So I've got to put this one into minor injury. We've got a lot in this tier so far. Bowser's Big Blast, and the question is, how big is the explosion? The explosion's big enough to knock off the screen whoever is the closest to Bowser, but it doesn't affect the people who are just a few steps away. So you know what, I think... This might be just broken bones. I don't think this one is worthy of being chance of death. I think this one would be just broken bones. Okay, and we have got roll call, and whether we are counting toads or booze or ball bombs, we are at a pretty safe distance away, so I think no matter what we are counting in the roll call minigame, we could put that into the grandma does this category. Okay, honeycomb havoc is not grandma does this. I don't think grandma would want to go and potentially get stung by bees. It's not bad enough to be a broken bone because, worst case scenario, you're just getting stung by bees. So this one is very, very appropriate for minor injury over here. That one fits into there. All right, this one, when we are bouncing on top of these balls over here and trying to knock each other off, whenever you're bouncing on top of something very unstable, that just makes me think of trampoline dodgeball. And that just makes me think that it is a broken bone waiting to happen. So that one's definitely going into broken bones. Mush Pit, you want to try to get a mushroom that turns you giant, and then you run into your friends. And if you are several times bigger than your friend and you are running into them, I think that would be a bit more than a minor injury, especially if you're getting really carried away with the play here. So this one, we're also going to put this one into broken bones. Storm Chasers is a really tough one because it makes me think of it's probably a bit closer to minor injury than Grandma does this because you might run into some of the Monty Malls, you're running around a bit, but maybe Tipsy Tourney, which we put into Grandma Does This. This one might even be a bit more dangerous than, than this Storm one. So let's do this. Let's move up Tipsy Tourney into minor injury because it's possible that you get injured jumping around and we really want grandma does this to be like the safest tier possible so i think it's appropriate to keep storm chasers in here and tipsy tourney we're gonna move that up into minor injury all right cheap cheap chase does getting eaten by the cheap cheap kill you because you also run into these bombs but i don't know how dangerous these bombs could be because after you get hit by one you're stunned for a moment but you can still keep swimming so I think this one, I think we should put this one into Broken Bones because we don't know what happens if that Cheap Cheap gets you. Maybe it's worse, but it's probably at least Broken Bones. All right, a golfing minigame. This one is 100% Grandma does this. Grandma can absolutely go golfing. That is just fine. Racing on a rocking horse. You know what? This one is about just as extreme as Grandma Does This category can get. Messy Memory, another one for Grandma Does This. Wow, this is making me, this is making it seem like there aren't that many dangerous minigames. I thought for sure that we'd have a lot more dangerous ones. But there are still a lot of minigames to go, so maybe we'll start to see some more dangerous ones. In Trace Race, we're carrying giant pencils. And the category of whether it's Grandma Does This or Minor Injury, really depends on how heavy these pencils are because if those are some heavy pencils then possibly it could lead to an injury if you're lifting something that's too heavy you never want to lift anything too heavy for you but i think we're gonna keep this one in grandma does this because those pencils don't look very heavy at all in book squirm there are these giant pages that are falling down on you and you want to rush to the hole so you don't get crushed by these pages so I don't think that those pages are strong enough to give you broken bones because it is just paper after all. So I think we're gonna put this one into minor injury over here. In Paths of Peril, you can fall down pretty far. There is the Lakitu that picks you up, but if any of us were falling from a distance like that, I think that might lead to broken bones. So we're gonna put Paths of Peril in broken bones. In the baseball minigame, a lot of precautions are being taken. If grandma was doing this, she would definitely be wearing a helmet. 
So this one, we are gonna say that this one is safe. We're gonna put this one into Grandma Does This. In Leaf Leap, I don't think that Broken Bones is enough for this one because you can go up hundreds of yards. And I think if you're falling from a height like that, like it looks like we are approaching space when we climb up. I think this one is chance of death. I don't think that it's quite guaranteed death because it depends on how high you can get. So I think we're gonna put Leaf Leap into Chance of Death over here. There's our third mini game with Chance of Death. Pushy Penguins, we're also going to put into Chance of Death just because freezing water and getting pushed into freezing water is very dangerous. Coney Island, this might look like an innocent little mini game. You go around and you collect ice cream, but the ice cream that you're collecting can be several times higher than you. And ice cream does have some weight to it. So it's actually a very tough choice putting it between minor injury because maybe it's something that's too heavy and putting it into Grandma Does This. So this one, we are going to put this one into Minor Injury. All right, Build Blasters. This might have been a difficult one to choose at first and to rank it, but look, we can look at this now. We can see that we have Tread Carefully ranked in Broken Bones, and Build Blasters is basically Tread Carefully, but I think it's a bit more difficult because the bullet bills are being shot directly at the characters with no protective equipment. So I think this one can go into Chance of Death, actually. So you're in a dark alleyway, you have a chain chomp coming towards you, and you want to flash a flashlight at it at the last possible moment, letting it get as close as possible, because whoever lets the chain chomp get as close as possible wins. Since that's a pretty dangerous chain chomp, I don't know if that one is worthy of Chance of Death, because the chain chomp doesn't defeat Mario in one hit, so we're just gonna leave this one in Broken Bones. I think that's appropriate for this one. A speed skating minigame. You obviously can get injured by skating, but I think if Grandma takes all of the safety precautions necessary and she doesn't push herself too hard, then we can put that into Grandma Does This. Catch You Letter. We can do the same thing here also. In this one, you're just returning letters to a postman. You might bump into each other a bit, but it isn't too different from going to the shop and running into people where there when there are lots of people over there. So this one's another Another one, Grandma does this. In What Goes Up, you bounce up and you climb along these paratroopers over here, but you can't have a humongous fall like you can in the Beanstalk level, because every once in a while, there's kind of a checkpoint where as far as you can fall is down to those clouds. But in reality, if you're jumping that high without any safety equipment, and you're going up hundreds of yards, and you're expecting to land on a cloud to save you, we're gonna put this one into Chance of Death also. Maybe it deserves broken bones, but better to be safe than sorry and say this is a chance of death. In Snow World, these are not just regular people who are spinning around on their snowboards. This isn't just minor injury over here, and you can also break your bones. It might even be possible to die snowboarding and skiing. Like, there are accidents that happen, and these people are spinning around like crazy. They're spinning around not just, not just one spin, not just two spins. The hard and master CPUs in this can spin like 5,000 degrees from a single jump. So, and because of the height that they're jumping at, this isn't just normal snowboarding. I'm putting this one into chance of death just because how high this is and not everybody that will be attempting this will be an expert. So this is definitely deserving of chance of death. Okay, a Monty Bowl whacking you in the head with a hammer. This is definitely not grandma does this. It's at least minor injury. We don't know how hard the Monty Moles hit you. They must hit you pretty hard because when they whack you in the head, you're dizzy and disoriented for a moment before you can start moving again. So this one might be deserving of broken bones. It's possible that they hit you hard enough to break a bone sometimes, or maybe even with just repeated hits of the hammer, they could do enough damage to start to break some bones. So that one's going into broken bones. In the final countdown, that is a pretty far fall there. And I know that when you complete the mini game in this game, you have the fly guys, they come and they carry you back up. But in real life, that's a pretty far fall. That's going to result in at least broken bones and maybe even a chance of death. So we're gonna put this one in chance of death just to be safe because that's a pretty big fall over there. Farthest fall you could survive. What the? What, uh, a flight attendant survived a 10 kilometer fall? In Pokey Pummel, you're swinging a hammer back and forth to take out these pokies over here. This seems kind of similar in intensity to crazy cutters. So I'm not sure if I should put this one in Crazy Cutters or Grandma Does This. Let's put this one into Grandma Does This because it's not a jackhammer. It's not something that's repeatedly vibrating against you. Swinging around this hammer could be some exercise that Grandma's getting. And Manner of Escape, this is basically an escape room. Everyone knows that Grandma loves escape rooms, so that one is another one that ends up in Grandma Does This. Counting Goombas is super, super easy. That's very obviously just a 
Grandma does this over here. No risk at all over there, really. Oh, this one is a bit violent, though. This one is not just pose for the camera. This one is pose for the camera and attack each other. So this one's actually really similar in terms of dangerousness to Dizzy Dancing. So we're gonna put this one in Minor Injuries, right along with Dizzy Dancing over here. This racing minigame is a little bit intense for Grandma. It's at least Minor Injury because you could go up to some really fast speeds and you could bump into these spiky things. I don't know if it is intense enough to put into Broken Bones. And you know what, if something does go very wrong here, and there is a chance of something going wrong here, then it might end up in Chance of Death. So I think it's safer to put this one in Broken Bones than Minor Injury. Okay, over here we're just stretching out Bowser's face. That's a very, very easy one. That's obviously one for Grandma does this over here. Bowser's trying to burn us here. Whenever we're doing something like this, with fire, that one is probably in Chance of Death. I think that's the safer place to put it. Skateboarding while a giant piranha plant is chasing you. I would say skateboarding itself, like without the giant piranha plant, is more than grandma does this, at least minor injury and possibly broken bones. So if we add the giant piranha plant to it, which adds a sense of urgency and you're trying to run away and there are obstacles, you have to jump over falling trees, I think this one is safe to put into broken bones because of that. Archer Rival, although it might look dangerous at first, I think this is actually a very safe one because the characters are safe. The arrows, there's no way that the arrows are going to be hitting the actual characters here. All that they're hitting are the signs. Maybe you could get a minor injury to your hand from holding a sign and then someone shoots an arrow at the sign from the vibration. But I think that's safe to put into Grandma Does This. Look Away, this is another one. This is Grandma's favorite new game, Just Dance 2022. That's definitely going into Grandma Does This. Tidal Toss is a really tough one because it's like, kind of like making little waves in a pool and that might be something that Grandma would do for fun. But if you look at how far these people are falling down the mountain, are these people tumbling down the mountain after this? Because we could see just the tips of trees over there. So if these people are going to be tumbling down the mountain, we don't know how far they're going. That's going to be at least broken bones, maybe even chance of death. I have no idea why Luigi, Yoshi, and Peach would agree to do something like this with Mario. They're trying to get up to the top. Mario's dropping down boulders at them. And these are some huge boulders. We can see that they flatten out the characters when the characters get hit by the boulders. So this one is definitely at least broken bones. I would even put into Chance of Death, maybe even Guaranteed Death. But yeah, I think Chance of Death is appropriate for that one. Coconut Conk is a super fun minigame, and I'm sure that nobody puts their grandma inside a barrel and tries to drop down coconuts on her. I'm sure nobody is going to leave a comment saying that they do that. How many people per year die from coconuts? 150 people die each year from being hit. Oh! from being hit on the coconut by a coconut. I'm like, is that a typo? Did they mean to say hit on the head by a coconut? But I think maybe they're making a joke about it. So you know what? I would actually maybe even consider putting this one into guaranteed death, but maybe the barrel provides some protection in some kind of way. So we're gonna put this one into chance of death just because coconuts are pretty dangerous. Spotlight swim. This is a really tough one. It's really tough to decide between minor injury and grandma does this because in a way it's like you're just swimming around for fun but if you get caught a cage drops down on you. But I think it still is pretty safe. I think the way that the cage is dropped down is safe. The cage doesn't actually hit the player. So I think that one is safe to put into Grandma Does This. The hide and seek minigame, that's another one that we are going to put into Grandma Does This. That is very obviously a Grandma Does This. No risk of injury over here in this minigame. In the soccer one, that is another one that we can put into Grandma Does This. Maybe we could put this one into minor injury. Maybe it deserves to be here. But it doesn't look like the soccer balls are being kicked hard at all. So we can put that one into Grandma Does This. In Squared Away, I want you to imagine this. Imagine people being in actual cubes like this and squishing each other with these cubes. Like, just rolling around in cubes like that, even without squishing each other, I think might be possible for broken bones. But when you squish each other, you can flatten each other. This might be deserving of chance of death because of the way that they flatten each other with these cubes. We don't know how heavy these cubes are, but I'm going to put it into broken bones because we know that it is likely at least broken bones. Two bit or lose it is definitely more intense than grandma. Now, is it minor injury or broken bones? Because the machine that Mario is riding on looks like it's pretty dangerous. 
And we're moving at pretty fast speeds down this hill, so I think I'm gonna put this one into Broken Bones over here. It might be worthy of minor injury, but we're gonna leave this one in Broken Bones. For Pogo a go-go. I think even just jumping around on a pogo stick on a rotating platform like this might be dangerous just because of how physics works, but we don't know how far these characters are falling down. We can see that there are clouds in the background here, so I'm expecting that to be a pretty high fall. So that is at the very least broken bones, but I think I'm gonna put that one into chance of death, just because we don't know how high it is. The football one, it is possible to break bones playing football, obviously, but I think I'm gonna put this one into minor injury over here. People are trying to tackle each other, they're not trying to break bones. Skewer scary, okay. Whenever you are dealing with very powerful industrial machinery, you have got to be very, very careful, and you do not want to mess around with that kind of stuff. That we are putting into chance of death, maybe even guaranteed death, but we don't know how deadly these skewers over here are. So we're leaving that one in chance of death. Now, how dangerous is the bobsled? You know what? If I bring it up here, I know that it's gonna be somewhere in here. If we start to compare it to some of these, is the bobsled more dangerous than these ones with broken bones? And is it about as dangerous as these ones that are chance of death? With the high speeds that you move at in these bobsleds, and the fact that the walls are missing in some parts and you could just fly off the track, I think chance of death is appropriate for this one. I think it's better to put it into here than to put it into broken bones. Handcar Havoc, if you play this minigame properly, then you're not going to fall into the lava, but there is a chance of falling off of the railings and going into the lava. So it's not guaranteed death even if you lose, as long as you don't fall off, you're safe. So this one, it's like, it's almost guaranteed death, but I guess we technically have to put it into chance of death. If there is a tier between chance of death and guaranteed death, if there was like, high chance of death, then this one would be in between there. This one would be up there. But for now, we're gonna keep it in chance of death. In this minigame where we have to escape from the dungeon, you might get hit by some fireballs, and you might also get squished by these thwomps. So that would be at least broken bones if the thwomps squish you. If the fire gets you, you might be in trouble. So you know what? This one, we're gonna put into chance of death also. It is at least broken bones, but we're gonna put it into chance of death. Because if that thwomp squishes you, you become very flat. You don't want something that heavy being dropped down on you. This one, we've got a, another mini game right over here for Grandma over here, Speed Hockey. This is basically Foosball over here. Oh, and I've just got to do this one right away. This one where we are baking cakes. That's another one for Grandma over here. She's obviously going to be joining us in this one. And this one over here where we pump up the Bowser balloons. That's going to be another one where this one just goes to grandma over here. Grandma does this. We're flying in some kind of two-person aircraft. There are exploding balloons that we don't want to run into, and there are cannons being shot at us. But somehow, no matter what happens, our aircraft doesn't go down. But you know what? I'm looking at stuff in minor injury, like the chain chomp and the bumper balloons and attacking each other and with the honeycomb havoc. And this is definitely more dangerous than that. The cannonballs being shot at you, that's definitely more dangerous than that. So this one is going to go into broken bones. I think that's more appropriate for broken bones. If you are eaten by a large piranha plant, I don't think there's any way getting out of that one. I think that might be our next mini game that's guaranteed death. If you lose this one, you get eaten by the piranha plant. If there's a mini game where you press a single button just to drop down a cage onto some Goombas, it looks like there isn't really any risk to you to do that. Maybe some of the Goombas would get injured, but for the players themselves, that is appropriate for a uh, grandma does this tier. If this was just a regular snowball fight, then this would probably end up being in minor injury. You probably wouldn't expect to have broken bones from a snowball fight. But here, we are making giant snowballs, pushing them into each other, and knocking each other off of a mountain. That is at the very least broken bones, quite possibly chance of death. We don't know how far we are falling. Just like with the Pogo A Go Go minigame, and just like with the bumper balloons on ice over here, this one's definitely at least chance of death over here, because that looks like it's a pretty big fall over there, judging by that mountain that we're on. Drawing circles around stuff with big pencils, I think the same rules apply as Trace Race, and since we have Trace Race and Grandma does this, we don't expect that pencil to be very heavy. So this one is going to be in the same category as Trace Race. Grandma does this. We're swinging from a tree with our feet. I don't know how well you could hold onto a rope with your feet, and then passing cherries to each other. So all of our focus isn't even on holding onto the rope over here. 
I think it would be quite easy to accidentally lose your grip with your feet, fall off, at least broken bones, possibly even chance of death, but this minigame does look pretty innocent, it's just a happy little tree and you're passing cherries along, so I'm gonna put it into broken bones instead of chance of death, even though chance of death might be appropriate for it. For this one, where you're eating a giant pizza, this might seem kind of silly, you might say, oh, grandma could eat a giant pizza like that, but if you are eating food that is several times larger than you, all in one sitting very quickly like this, I think it's possible that you could probably have like an exploding stomach or something like that if you tried to eat that much pizza in one sitting. I need to do a collab with Dr. Mike on YouTube and find out where he would rank this. I think that chance of death is appropriate to rank this one. Alright, if we're racing through a dungeon, one of the most dangerous parts here are we can miss this jump and we fall into that pit here. We can see that it's very dark so it goes down pretty far, we don't know how far it goes down. At the very minimum, it is minor injury. I don't think that the pit is deep enough for us to die because the Lakitu comes and picks us back up, so I think Broken Bones is appropriate for that one. This is such a fun minigame, I enjoy this minigame so much, we want to hit these switches and push the ball bombs towards each other, and if the amount of damage that ball bombs do to Mario in Mario games is any indication of how dangerous these are, then I think that maybe this one should go into Broken Bones, it's on the edge of broken bones and minor injury, but I think I'll use the same rule that I use for the Monty Mole minigame. In the Monty Mole minigame, when you get hit, you're stunned for a moment, so we could assume that it's a pretty hard hit with the hammer, and the same thing happens over here. If the ball bomb hits you, you're stunned for a moment, and you're dizzy, you're seeing stars, then you can get back up and continue. So it might not be broken bones every time, but if there's a category that's like, chance of broken bones, then this one would go into that one. This one would be in between these two categories. Alright, burn style? Looks very dangerous, there's lava on the floor, you've got this very, very quick spinning spiked bar that just speeds up and gets faster and faster. I don't think that it's guaranteed death because I don't think you fall into the lava no matter what. It's possible that you fall into the lava, but if the spike bar hits you, where do you go after the spike bar hits you? You know what? It doesn't look like there's anywhere safe for you after you get hit by the spiked bar, so I think this might be our next mini game that we put into guaranteed death over here. And it's not going into guaranteed death just because there's lava, because we could see that Handcar Havoc, even if you're the loser, if you don't fall off the track, you still survive. But in this minigame, if you lose, you're hit by the spiked bar and you probably fall into the lava because I don't see where else you would be going. Rocky Road is a super fun minigame. You break these boulders, you want to break the boulders quickly and you see who can make their way through the path the quickest. At first I was just going to say that this one deserves to be in minor injury because you might attack each other a bit by accident and it's kind of similar to Dizzy Dancing. But if you're breaking boulders with your bare hands and your bare feet, you might end up with some broken bones after that, so I think this one deserves to be in broken bones. I think it's definitely closer to broken bones than minor injury. Alright, this minigame is basically Splatoon. You want to paint the Goombas. I would put this one into Grandma Does This, but it is possible to hit each other with the paintballs, so... I think this one is more like paintball. I think this one's definitely closer to minor injury than Grandma does this. This sport is a little bit too extreme for Grandma. Alright, remember what we were saying about heavy machinery back when we were looking at Skewer Skeery? I don't know if this one is intense enough to go into Chance of Death, but those very large clock parts can move very quickly. So this is either Chance of Death or Broken Bones. I think I'm gonna put this one into Broken Bones over here. Alright, swinging from vines over here, this just sounds like something that would result in Broken Bones, but I think I'm gonna put this one into Minor Injury because we don't know how high the floor is. It might not be very high and we could get back up to the vine pretty quickly. I don't think Grandma's gonna be swinging from vine to vine like this, so we'll leave this one in Minor Injury. Alright, we have got a dual minigame here. This one is basically we're riding around in some cars, and the biggest risk in this is these little electric things over here. And if you run into one of them, your cart spins around like this, you take a bit of damage. Maybe you could feel some whiplash. So I think I'm gonna put this one into minor injury over here. It's either minor injury or grandma does this. And I think that a ride like that might be a bit too intense. It's a bit more intense than go-karts. And we can see that like some of the other ones like this, like go-karts, we put that into minor injury. So we'll put this one along with minor injury. In this duel, we are in space. It looks like very clearly we are in space. 
so he can't breathe. So I think, on a technicality, this one is going to go into guaranteed death. I don't know how these characters can breathe there, but if we were put into a situation like this, this would be guaranteed death. If we could breathe there, it would probably go all the way down to minor injury if we could breathe. But I'm assuming that this is space, so he can't breathe there, so that's going to go into guaranteed death. In this dual minigame, this one doesn't seem like there's anything particularly dangerous. There are these spinning parts here, maybe you could get caught in them and pinch yourself, but I don't think that it's anything really more intense than you'd see, like going to a shopping mall or something, trying to use a rotating door, trying to use a turnstile. I don't think that it's really any more dangerous than that, so I think this is something that Grandma would be okay with doing, so we're putting this one into Grandma Does This. In the hammer drop minigame, you have hammers being dropped down on you, so Grandma definitely doesn't have hammers dropped down on her normally. So this is at the very least minor injury, but I think this is better suited for broken bones, considering the kind of stuff that we put into broken bones, like the bombs away minigame. This fishing for coins and fishing for treasure chests minigame, I think this is one that's appropriate for Grandma. We could give that one to Grandma. And Parasol Plummet? is at the very least broken bones because we saw that if hammers are being dropped down on you then that's already broken bones but not only are hammers being dropped down on us now but we are holding parasols that are meant to stop us from falling down so you know what i think this one might even go into chance of death i think chance of death is more appropriate for parasol plummet because not only are we having hammers thrown at us but we also have to properly use a parasol which acts like a parachute and if a hammer hits us in the head and we're unable to use our parasol, like a parachute, then we'll just keep falling and we won't be able to use our life-saving device. X-Ray Payday might look innocent enough. Sometimes you open up a box and there's a coin inside, but you might also get punched or have a ball bomb when you open that up. So this is one that's on the border of broken bones and minor injury. I'm assuming that the punch and the ball bombs in this minigame have similar force to the ball bombs in the minigame reverse a bomb and the Monty Moles hitting you because you get stunned. So this one is going to end up in broken bones. If there's a category between broken bones and minor injury, like maybe broken bones, then it would go into that category. Quicksand Cash, I'm going to put this one into minor injury because I don't know what happens if you get swallowed up by the quicksand there. I've heard that quicksand is more dangerous in movies than it is in real life and I think that this might be a little bit too intense for grandma so we're gonna leave that one in minor injury. River Raiders is at the very least minor injury because you're riding around on something like this. You could actually get hurt riding something like that just on water. And more importantly, there are logs and there's some kind of debris that you have to avoid. So I don't know if that would be dangerous enough to break a bone. You know what? Yeah, that's gotta be at least break a bone. That's gotta be at least break a bone. I was thinking of leaving that one in minor injury, but we're gonna leave this one in broken bones. If you're running up a large conveyor belt with lots of boxes and then you could fall down to another layer of a conveyor belt and you can tumble over other people, that is going into broken bones. That is not going into minor injury, that's at least broken bones. Maybe even chance of death, depending on how powerful this industrial machine here is. All right, if you're swimming around on a raft and hammers are being thrown at you, you know what, at first I was going to say that this is broken bones, but if you're on water and hammers are being thrown at you, there's a chance of you being knocked unconscious and drowning. So this one, is definitely going to go into chance of death over here. In Cashapult, you get launched up pretty high into the sky. I'm not sure if that's worthy of chance of death, depending on how high you go, but it's at least broken bones. You could definitely break a bone from dropping from that height up there. Beach Volley Folly, you know what? I'm very, very tempted to put this one into broken bones just because I personally know a lot of people who have broken bones from volleyball but we have the football minigame in minor injury, and I'm not sure if you're statistically more likely to break a bone from volleyball or football. I'd have to take a look at the statistics of that before I make up my mind. So for now, since I'm unsure, I'm just gonna leave it in the same category. I'm gonna leave it in minor injury, even though based on my own anecdotal experience, which obviously isn't the data, I have to take a look at the data before I form an opinion. It's gonna go into minor injury for now. The same thing with hockey. I wish I knew which sports were most dangerous and I knew which sports were most dangerous. If I knew which sports were most dangerous and which ones you were most likely to break a bone, then we'd be able to decide if we want to put it into broken bones or minor injury. So it turns out in this specific sample, in this study that I just looked up, 
football was actually the most likely to have a fracture, and volleyball was actually the least likely to have a fracture. So that just goes to show that just because anecdotally you've experienced something is more common in one group than another group, statistics might actually show that the truth is the opposite of what you would think. So because of that, we are going to put football into this category, and we are going to leave volleyball in minor injury instead. This puzzle mini game, which is basically like a kind of Tetris, this one is, of course, appropriate for grandma, so that's staying there. Another puzzle mini game, grandma absolutely loves playing these on Facebook, so we're gonna pop that one in there. This puzzle game also, we're gonna pop another one over here for grandma, she just loves playing these Facebook puzzle games over here, just like Candy Crush. Now in winter or dinner, we're not being eaten by the piranha plant, like in Tug of War, but the piranha plant grabs us and just throws us back. So I don't know if that is severe enough to be in broken bones or if that should be in minor injury. But based on how we have been rating things, I think it is closer to broken bones than minor injury. If we had a category in between these two, then it would go in between these two. And for ice rink rinse, this one, I'm kind of tempted to put this one into minor injury, but also since it's on ice and it's slippery and you can get injured, it might just get bumped up into broken bones because of that. And these spinies that you're trying to avoid, they might be a bit dangerous, but you know what? This is probably about as dangerous as hockey maybe, so we're gonna leave this in the same category as hockey, minor injury. If hockey deserves to get bumped up into broken bones, then this one will probably come along with it, but we'll leave it like that for now. And finally, the very last five mini games. We have got this item mini game where Yoshi right now, he just presses a button and then you get an item from the roulette wheel. That is obviously a very safe one. Grandma can of course go play the Wheel of Fortune safely on TV, so she can do this as well. Now when it comes to keeping your eye on a barrel to get an item, that doesn't seem too difficult, besides the fact that you have to actually punch the barrel and break it. So this might be broken bones, this might be minor injury, this would be one that's right on the border of the two. If we had a category in between, it would go in between, but for now I'm gonna put that one into minor injury. This one over here, this is a very tough one, because I'm tempted to put this one into Grandma Does This for this item minigame, where you're floating and you shoot an arrow to pop some balloons, but I'm actually going to put it into minor injury, because something maybe could go wrong here, and I think this might be a little bit too extreme for Grandma, perhaps. This one where we swing the hammer like this to get an item, I'm tempted to put that one into minor injury, but since we have Pokey Pummel in Grandma's category, we're going to put this one into Grandma's category also. Oh, and you know what? Let's move some of these Grandma ones over here. There we go. All right, and our final mini game. We are on a swing, and we want to jump off this swing onto the barrel. That one would again be in between these two categories, between broken bones and minor injury, but we're gonna put this one into minor injury over here. Because you probably can do this safely if there's a lot of precautions taken, but I wouldn't recommend it and I wouldn't personally do it. But you could probably do it without breaking bones, but maybe it deserves to be one level up, maybe it deserves to be here. There are a lot of edge cases between these two categories right here, broken bones and minor injury. So here is our tier list of all Mario Party Superstars minigames ranked by how dangerous they are. If you'd rank something differently, let me know in a comment, and you might enjoy some of my other videos, like my video where we rank jails that I made for Mario and Bowser's Fury in a tier list. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you, and take care everybody. Buddy.